Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here. Book by Baker about evangelist in the gulags. So this is about, you remember when the Soviet Union, you know, atheistic, hated Christians, killing Christians, imprisoning Christians. And this was a fantastic memoir of remembering their lives, that Christians were in there and evangelizing in the gulags and some of the deprivations they withstood and so this is 1989 basically the year um, the uh, wall fell but you know in America especially people are really pushing socialism and communism and things and I'm like they don't remember and, and there's even some mainstream seemingly mainstream publications trying to say you know the life was better in the Soviet Union and stuff and they don't realize the horrible oppression and the godless atheistic materialism and the killing of Christians by the tens of millions and maybe even into the hundreds of millions in this time so this is a very important book I'm gonna read some things it's uh, you know even like Richard Wormbrand when he testified before Congress that uh, you know he had marks he was in prison for like what nine or eleven years look at all this like Christian prisoners in the Soviet Union those of you that are Pentecostal you remember the Siberian 7 where brother Urshan had to go to the Soviet Union and uh, rescue those seven Pentecostals that had fled to the American Embassy to uh, be safe and they're still Urshanites um, in the Soviet Union and now Russia and I think Russia is a little better on freedom of religion and I know on mainstream kind of Christianity they are so I'll read this. Uh, Georgie Vins, the compiler of these testimonies, was imprisoned eight years for preaching the gospel in the Soviet Union. I mean, I've read about, like, even when they had, like, a little printing press, they came with tanks, the Air Force, and everything over the printing press. I mean, it was horrible. And there were certain things you couldn't do unless you were in the Communist Party, which was an atheistic party. Um, right now there in China is communist and this is secular news they're having Christians they can no longer have the Ten Commandments they have to have sayings by their current premier and they're actually with artificial intelligence retranslating the Bible for a socialistic context horrific persecution of Christians in China North Korea you need to pray for them all the time it's not just in the Islamic countries it's even in Israel some. They're not fully integrated Christians. All right. In Israel. Um, he was imprisoned eight years for preaching the gospel in the Soviet Union. When he was exiled to the United States in 1979, his evangelical Baptist brethren named him their ambassador to the West. Reverend Vins founded the International Representation Incorporated, a ministry to represent, defend, and aid the persecuted church in the Soviet Union. His quarterly magazine, The Prisoner Bulletin, echoes the voice of oppressed believers. Traveling worldwide, Reverend Vins shares the plight of Christians in the Soviet Union and challenges Christians everywhere to value their freedom to cherish their Bibles which is made illegal and to follow Jesus Christ no matter how great the cost uh, the door slammed shut. The three prisoners, all of them big husky men, started questioning me very directly about my faith and about life in the camp why are you suffering for nothing, they ask. After all, you're so young. You write a statement to the KGB that you renounce your faith and they'll let you go today when I remained silent, they began shouting and threatening me. We'll grind you into the cement. We'll punish you like a dog. We'll force you to renounce your faith. You say you're a Christian, said another. So we'll carve Christian on your forehead. We'll carve blasphemies on your back. Then how will you be a believer? What God will help you then? I did not know what they would do to me. So I prayed and asked the Lord for only one thing, that I might remain faithful to him to the end. These are true and gripping stories of Christian lives on the front lines of the battle. When everything was taken away from them, these modern day witnesses to the power of the gospel found that Jesus or Christ was all that they needed. So we never need to forget, let the waters roar, evangelist in the gulag. And uh, let's pray this out of the United States. God bless you in Jesus' name.